Hello guys, we are from Electronics at Coltec and today we're going to talk about passive filters. My name is Gabriel. My name is Gabriel. My name is Leonardo. My name is Vito. My name is Bernardo. My name is Paro. So, today we are going to talk about electronics, most specifically passive filters. We'll start with an example to explain what is a filter. Do you drink dirt water? When you have dirt water and you want to be able to drink it, you must take the dirt out first so you can drink the clean water. That's what a filter does. It takes out what you don't want from whatever you want. So you pass your water to a filter so you can take out the dirt and drink the clean water. In electronics, it's very like that. When we have a signal, like this example, and we have some noise in it, we need to take out that noise so we can do whatever we want to do with that time. That's what we do with filters. We pass that cycle to this filter, so it takes out the noise and we have the clean cycle that we want. Electronics. We have two kinds of components. The passive and the actives. The passive ones are used in passive filters like the MCS. And what's the difference between active and passive components? And the active components, they used to give energy to a circuit, like the source does and the amplifier. And, and the passive ones, like resistor, capacitor and inductor, just interact with the circuit in, in, and with this energy. The resistor dissipates energy and the capac capacitors and inductors uh, charging this energy. Component, the resistor. The resistor is an electric component with the primary function of limit the current. We can use a water tube as example. The flow of water is the current. The force that makes the water flow is the voltage. And if we put some resistance in the tube, like here, it will flow less water. It will limit the current of water. That's the same way a resistor works in an electric circuit. The resistor limits the current on a circuit, just like the way that this resistance on the tube of water does. The capacitor is a passive component that works like a water tank. It keeps energy and when necessary, the circuit will use this energy. The symbol of capacitors is like this, and the, it has uh, many uses, like we know in the flash of cameras. I will talk about the inductor. It's a device that charges electric energy into a magnetic field created by the current that passes through it. Just like capacitors, there is a relation between the voltage and the frequency. As bigger the frequency is, bigger the voltage. I can explain this with math. The resistance of the inductor is represented by this formula. With the J, a complex number, the constant, 2 pi, frequency and inductance. So we can see that as bigger the frequency is, as I said, bigger is the resistance. And with a big resistance, bigger is the voltage between the terminals. After talking about the components that build a filter, I will talk about the filter itself. There are two kinds of filters that I will show today. The high-pass filter and the low-pass filter. The high-pass let the, let the high frequencies pass through the filter and be taken off the output voltage. There are two kinds of, uh, of high-pass that we can build. The ones filled with a cap capacitor and a resistor taking out the voltage of a resistor and building one with a resistor and an inductor, taking the voltage out of an inductor. The low pass filter lets low frequencies press through the filter and to be taken off the output voltage. This output voltage has to be taken on this part, which is the second component that we built in the circuit. There are two kinds of low pass filter that we can build. There is this one, 
with an inductor and a resistor that we will take out the voltage from the resistor or building with a resistor and a capacitor that we will take the voltage of the capacitor. We will always put an input voltage between these two points and take the output voltage out of these two points. And this happens on the, all the four filters that I showed before. There is a graph diagram for filters that is called a voltage diagram. It shows the relations between the frequency and the gain on a filter. Well, here we can see a voltage diagram. And this, the FO, is the cut frequency on a filter. It is always calculated by this relation, where R is the resistance of a circuit and C the capacitance of a circuit. His, this value show where the gain of a circuit will be equals to 0707. Now we're going to talk a little bit about the specific filters applications. But first, we need to explain something. We can combine the two filters, a high pass filter, to a low pass filter, to create a band pass filter, which works on the frequency that both of them are active. With this technique, we are able to get a single frequency with certain informations. For example, on your radio, in your house, each channel has, works on a certain frequency. And when you change the channels, they are actually change the frequency the filters in your equipment are actually working. So, it will be able to uh, allow a single frequency to pass and get a clear message with no problems. I'm going to talk about filters and its applications. First of all, I'm going to talk about its usage on the modulation. We use the filter to get the signal band, that is, with the information that we want to hear. The sound with the info is in lower frequencies, so we use a low pass filter to filter the carry signal from the information signal, and then we can hear what was sent. Another application is controlling which louder is going to amplificate which frequencies. Bass uses a louder and sharp sounds, sounds uses another one. Uh, as you can see, uh, this is why we have three or four louders in, in, a, in a big amplificator. Uh, this is good because we can have a good quality in the sounds made by electronic objects. Thank you for watching our video. We hope you have enjoyed it and have learned something. Electronic is very big, but we try to emphasize something. And please, don't forget to subscribe and like.